Shalom, shalom. First of all, before we get started, I like to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekha Kadash, and double honors to those great millstones, while I learned this truth. And also to the whole filet that is scattered abroad. I like to say, Shalom. And come back here today with another great and powerful lesson to the spirit and power of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So the title of the lesson is Life is Short. So I like to say, Shalom, to all I listen learn. Hope this will be today and guide you back in the path of righteousness and back to your true power, which in fact is Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. So before we start the daily lesson, let's get a quick precept. Ecclesiasticus uh chapter 5 and verse 7. It said, Make no terror to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. Verse 8. Set not thy heart upon goods unjustly gotten, for they shall not profit thee in the day of calamity. So a lot of our people right now in the house of murder, you know, they are drinking and being married, thinking that they are a good case, not considering what the signs of the time. You know what I'm saying? All hell is breaking is breaking loose all around us and out of its on us on every side. We know that what the devil is getting ready to come down with great wrath. You know, that's why the Lord said, come out of her, my people. To what? Come out of that mindset and come back on what? The total subjection to who? Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai. He is the only way and he is the only house. So we seeing that, you know, the body count is constantly going up. We seeing people coming up missing every day, especially what? Uh, these young Eve, you know what I'm saying? These rebellious Eve. And out of body, you know, the Lord already said, first my judgment will start at the house of Ira, you wicked Negro. You wicked Negro uh, 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 women, you are uh, you wicked Latinos, you wicked Mexican, you wicked Native Indians. I'm talking to you. It is time to return to your true power. Do not put off from day to day. You know, because suddenly, you know, the wrath of the Lord shall fall upon you. Because what? These are the days of vengeance. The Lord's getting ready to bring forth judgment. And out of body, you know, because a lot of people right now, they still look, uh, 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 Hate, uh, uh, hate good and love the evil. Now, but they they get quick to do evil. And out of Bible, but one thing about it, hate him that rebuke is at the gate. So, I have a little short video about this young lady. I think she was 21 years old. She disappeared. She went on a uh, river boat ride in uh, Memphis, Tennessee, and uh, with some so-called friends. And she did not return. And out of Bible, so now they are looking for her right now. So she's 21. But one thing about it is she should have been at home but one thing about it our people are what are rebellious they're stiff necked you know they are sadish and I have one thing about it you know they they, they don't want to know the Lord you know they constantly you know despising the words of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai and I have about it. one thing about it we read upon judgment that's why the Lord said seek him early while he can be found but a lot of our people what constantly what are putting off from day to day you know what I'm saying and all of a sudden calamities and catastrophe will fall upon you because what you was in the house of mirth you was in the wrong mindset wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of time and out of Bible seal so a lot of people you know hey one thing about it is that you came here with nothing you know you're getting ready to leave with nothing out of body you know hey one thing about it, if it's the Lord's will so you can walk at the door on your way to work you know so not even thinking about you know you just thinking about what's going on in the world the Lord already said if you're if, if, if you love this word then you're an enemy of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh the Lord said the wisdom of this world is foolishness to him if you're not seeking him everything else is is, is obsolete and I and you will be deleted and also you know if anyone that's a wonder out of the way of understanding this wisdom and knowledge shall remain in the congregation of the dead. So you're spiritually dead right now. You're walking around, but you're walking charcoal and don't even know. It. And you get ready to be uh, physically dead. You're getting ready to feel the fire. So one thing about it is that people are coming up missing left and right. People are dying all sorts of ways. Uh, you know, uh, 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 shootings, uh, 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 coming up, people are uh, 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 capturing them, you know what I'm saying, and taking them to places, you know what I'm saying, and never seeing them again, you know what I'm saying, all sorts of wickedness is going on, you know what I'm saying, we're living in an evil time, a perilous time, we know that Jacob's trouble is at the door, we know that the hour of temptation is fast approaching, but all our people want to do is play games, and the game's about to be over, and I about what, life is short, and I mean, you hear, 
you here today and you're gone tomorrow. It's the Lord's will, you whether you would do this or that. And how about you shall what? Reap what you show sow. Whether it was good or bad, everyone is getting ready to go in front of the judgment seat of who? Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. That is your true power. And how about you got to be seeking the Lord. If you're not seeking the Lord, then you're in the congregation of the dead. And you get ready to be filled to the dead. And we constantly warn you, left and right, but a lot of our people, they love it here. But they're getting ready to die here. So the title of the day, listen, once again, is uh, Life is Short. So I have one uh, quick video. After the video, we will start the lesson. And I hope that you will get edified. This is a call to action in Memphis. You are up. This is 21-year-old Tamia Taylor. She's from Hernando, Mississippi. She went missing over the weekend and never... She was in Memphis with some friends and they went on a riverboat ride. And this riverboat ride was called the Booze Cruise that happened Saturday. Now, the mother contacted the police department on the 10th, which was Sunday, now, this is where it gets suspicious. After calls and texts to her daughter, and uh, all the texts and everything went unanswered, the mother then contacted her friends, and they said that she didn't make it to the riverboat. And after looking into it further, it showed that Tamiya did make it on board the boat. This is her dancing on the boat. <laughs> Why would the friends lie? Now, two hours after the cruise ended and the boat docked, she was nowhere to be found. Yeah, Action News 5, Sydney Hawkins is live with details about conflicting reports on whether the woman was visiting Harbor Town, Sydney. Hey, good morning to you, Ariana and Andrew. Memphis police say they continue to search for 21-year-old Tamia Taylor, and it comes after Tamia's mother said that she did not return home after a boat ride that she was supposed to take here in Harbor Town, as you both said. Memphis police say that report came Saturday night or Sunday. She was supposed to meet friends for a riverboat ride scheduled for 1030 Saturday night. They say the mother told police that Tamia's friends said she never got on that boat. And hours later, Memphis police updated that missing persons report saying further investigation shows Tamia did make it to Memphis and onto the boat, but could not be found when the boat docked. Now, according to the company Memphis Riverboats website, there's a, a midnight booze cruise that is a two-hour cruise that boards at 1030 at night. It departs at 1130 at night and it returns here to Memphis at 130 in the morning. It is only for people who are 21 and above and the website says if you're coming to this cruise you have to park about 10 minute it's a 10 minute walk away from where the passengers will board this cruise please take a look at your screen to me it was reportedly last wearing a black jacket beige shirt white shorts orange socks and white shoes she's reportedly five foot seven and 125 pounds so several questions remain about uh, the alleged disappearance as well as where tamia is from we've reached out to memphis police to learn more about her as well as this case and we'll update you as we learn that information for now i'm live in downtown memphis sydney hawkins action news five the police are actively looking for her because memphis is a dangerous city but what's more dangerous people you call your friends who are in your circle but not in your corner if you see tamia or you know what happened to her Let's call the police department. Hit us up at BNN. We need to find this young lady. We need to find her fast. So you see that, you know, life is very short. You know, we don't know what the outcome of it right now, but we already know, you know, it always end up what bad. So we know that judgment is now at hand. We seeing that all these wicked evil coming up missing are they coming up unalive you know their husband killing them police killing them are they are they dying some type of mysterious death and not about the lord's constantly bringing forth judgment but our people were constantly being rebellious you know they want to go on with their daily lives you know thinking that they're a good case all of a sudden with her friend that she thought she was safe there's no one if no one is safe you know what i'm saying not about no one will escape the hands of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. The Lord said, if he's sanctioned for you to go, you get, getting ready to go. So the Lord have the power over life and death. And out about, hey, while you are constantly sleeping, constantly uh, relaxing in your leave, hey, man, Lord's bringing forth judgment every day. So we're seeing it happening right before our eyes. So, hey, man, we don't know what may be the outcome of this uh, young lady we're measuring uh, 
measuring the time doing, hoping and praying that she make it back home with her family. But hey, we already know that we're living in some what? Some evil times, a perilous time. The devil is what? It's getting ready to come down with great wrath. But see, but a lot of our people right now, they're not considered, but they're getting ready to seek the Lord early. So now to start the day lesson. Don't mean to be rambling. First Peter chapter four and verse 17. <clears throat> and it reads, said, for the time, for the time is come that judgment must begin at the house of the Almighty, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And if it first begin at us, said, what shall the end be of them that obey not uh, the gospel of the Almighty, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So one thing about it, that, hey, man, we see seeing judgment going out each and every day. You know, the Lord, you know, is visiting the earth that he created. Also, he's gathering the nation. You know, one thing about it, the Lord's getting ready to purge out the rebels. And I'd you know, that's why, you know, it's very important to seek the Lord while he can be found. And I'd you know, Lord only love his own. Who is that? Israel. And I'd buy, if you're an Israelite, you need to be seeking the Lord. It's not, the Lord's going to bring forth that judgment. So, you know, so a lot of people, what, are coming up unalive, dying all sorts of ways. And I'd buy, in the body count, it's getting ready to be great. The Lord already said, I come not to bring peace, but a sword. And I'd buy, we seen it in that clip. You know what I'm saying? We hoping and praying that she make it back. But we already know that the Lord is, hey, he don't, it's no respect to person. So now, let's go here to, uh, get another quick precept. Let's go here to uh, 2 Corinthians, a quick lesson through the Spirit. And once again, I hope that you will get edified. 2 Corinthians chapter, uh, uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, and we'll start at verse 10. <clears throat> and it reads, said, for we must all appear before the judgment seat of the Hamasiah, that everyone may receive the things done in his body according to that he has done, whether it be good or bad. So one thing about it, we already know if she is, uh, if she is unalive, you know, or, or something uh, caused her to lose her life. You know, she's uh, in front of the judgment seat of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. She's back in her right mind. She know who she are. She know who she is now. She know who her true power is. And out about it, and, and one thing about it is that, you know, hey, everyone is getting ready to go in front of the judgment seat of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Whether, you know, you believe or you don't believe, whether you are good or whether you're bad. And out about it, one thing about it, if you have faith and you don't have faith, one thing about it is that you're going in front of that judgment seat. And out about it, you're getting ready to get your mind right. And one thing about it is that we come to one, every what? Every tongue shall confess, every knee shall bow down. Hey man, you ain't escaping the hands of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. He's in perfect control. He brings forth judgment every day. So let's, let's read verse 11. It said, Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, but uh, we are made manifest unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And I trust also, also, are made manifest in your conscience. Hey man, one thing about it, hey man, we, hey, you knowing the terror of the Lord. You know, we persuade men, you know, hey, man, seek the Lord. It's time to seek him right now. Ask the Lord and have mercy upon Examine yourself. Because you don't know whether you might leave here today or tomorrow. Not about you want to be what found worthy of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. So let's read verse 11 again. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 11 said, said, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, but uh, we are made manifest unto uh, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. And I trust also are made manifest in your conscience so hey one thing about it hey man this is a serious thing you know you you know a lot of people what that do thy will spirit doing whatever they want they think they have free will but we all are doing the will of yahweh bob shim yahweh shah and not about it. one thing about it we seeing that the lord is constantly uh bringing forth the plagues and they're not slacking down for a moment and i about it. she you know she constantly what giving over to all sorts of what liberty going everywhere she wants to go and not about it. you know a woman is a keeper at home so let's get a quick precept on that right quick let's go here to uh sarah at least ask us chapter 25 and verse 25 Let's go to quick precept, right quick. Ecclesiasticus of Sirach chapter 25 and verse 25. <clears throat> and it reads, said, give, give the water no passions. passions. It said, neither a wicked woman liberty uh, to gather abroad. So one thing about it is that, you know, she was only a young, a young woman. And I about it, you know, and, and also she was out with so-called friend. And I about it, she had what, had uh 
had a liberty uh, to gather abroad. And I thought about it, a woman is, once again, it's a keeper at home. And I thought about it, you know, and, and, and one thing about it, these women have that uh, do thy will spirit. They want to, what, exhort the authority over the man. They want to do whatever they want to do. You know what I'm saying? I thought about it, you know, they are masculine. You know what I'm saying? They are very proud. And I thought about it, the Lord's getting ready to bring them very low. And I thought about it, hey, man, first his judgment was started at the house of Israel. Let's read that again. Uh, please ask uh, Sirach chapter 25 and verse uh, 25 say give the water no no patches i mean passive uh neither a wicked woman living to gad abroad so one thing about it hey she should have been at home or should have been with had a husband at home raising the kid but one thing about it hey man we got a lot of what wicked negro women wicked negro uh eve constantly doing all sorts of wickedness all sorts of rebellion you know what i'm saying uh uh constantly bucking up at the man and i by the lord already said a woman's mostly what Keep silent, but that's a whole nother story. But one thing about it is that we seeing that these women's of you know have that what you call that uh uh Jezebel spirit. And one thing about it, the Lord's getting ready to cease all of that very soon. So we seeing all these women, you know, they're constantly having liberty abroad. And not about one thing about it, but when Jacob's trouble start, you know, so a lot of these women is getting ready to get their mind right. You know, that Isaiah 4 and 1 is getting ready to come into play. You know, life is short. And I've been seeing it happening right before our day. The blink of an eye, you could be gone here. You know what I'm saying? On your way to work all of a sudden, uh, 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 some type of accident. Or you could be at, at home and all of a sudden have a heart attack. Anything can happen at this any given time. The Lord is bringing forth that judgment. You know what I'm saying? These are the days of vengeance. And I've been re read upon war, read upon all sorts of great calamities and catastrophe. We're at the beginning of sorrow, great death, great mourning, great persecution. And I about just did a little short lesson. You know, I was going to do another lesson, but I decided to do this lesson. So, but one thing about it is that, hey, man, life is short. You know, it's time to seek the Lord. And I'd be caught, what? We are running out of time. And I'd be, hey, man, Hey, hey man, the great day of the Lord, it is fast approaching. So let's go here to uh, Job. Let's go here to Job chapter uh, 4. Job chapter 4 and verse 7. And it reads, said, Remember, I pray thee, whoever perished being innocent, or were, were the righteous cut off. Verse 8, say, say, even as I have seen they that plow iniquity and sow wickedness reap the same. So hey, one thing about you, hey, you shall reap what you sow. Anyone uh it do anyone uh uh ever uh, perish being innocent. No, they don't. You got to pay for what you have done in your past life, in this life. You know what I'm saying? What is under the sun? You know what I'm saying? The earth. You know what I'm saying? This is the place of judgment. Not about, you know, you got to believe in also reincarnation. That's a whole nother story also. But one thing about it is that you, you get ready to pay for your, your sin, what you have done. All of us have fallen short of the glory. You know what I'm saying? All of us have sinned. And not about, but one thing about it, but the elect, the true believers of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh you know, the Lord is constantly washing us with this word, cleaning us with this word, and also with his precious blood and I but we want to be found it worthy when the Lord return and I but we hoping that and hoping and praying that we're part of the whole flat and hoping that our sin get blotted out when the Lord return his great and close return and I about but a lot of our people constantly want to do wickedly and I about it will only lead to your death and destruction now this young lady is coming up missing because she want to do what wickedness you know what I'm saying that about and, 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 hey I wasn't even thinking about uh what would happen or none of that. All you were thinking about having a good old time, drinking and being married, playing games. That's what's wrong with the two thirds. Two parts therein shall be cut off and die. Amen. One thing about it, we're here. Verse eight, it said, by the blast of the almighty, they perish and by uh, the breath of his nostril, are uh, they consumed? Hey, man, one thing about it, hey, man, the Lord can take you at any given time. Lord, once again, have power over life and death. And out of about, hey, man, ain't no one escaping the hands of Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh, whether it's good or bad, you got to walk accordingly and come back to your true power, which in fact is Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh, let's get another quick precept. Let's go here to uh, Galatians chapter 6. Galatians chapter 6 and verse 7. <clears throat> and it really said, be not deceived. The almighty is, is not mocked for whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Verse eight, for he that soweth in his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth uh, to the spirit shall of the spirit reap 
everlasting life, which in fact is salvation. You shall reap what you sow. If you sow in what? In your flesh, you will what? You will reap what? Corruption. If you sow in the spirit, you shall reap what? Everlasting life, salvation, dominion, rulership, spiritual power, immortality. And we cannot wait. Woo! This amen. The Lord's getting ready to return. And one thing about it is that our people, you know, always been stiff necked, always been hardy. Let's get another quick precept. Let's go here to all. Uh, uh, let's go here to Jeremiah chapter 4 and verse 22. Jeremiah chapter 4 and verse 22. This is what's wrong with our people right here. Jeremiah chapter 4 and verse 22. And it reads, really said, For my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are silent, are stupid, children that. And they have, have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good. They have no knowledge. And that about one thing about it, they, they hate him that rebukes at the gate. And I they constantly what despise and mock the true words of Yahweh. By Hashem Yahweh. These are not our words. These are the words of Yahweh. By Hashem Yahweh. If she would have took heed and listened to, uh, to, to someone that had wisdom or, or someone that could, uh, lead her back to what to righteousness but hey one thing about it is that you know everyone is standing in a lock you know so hey man it, it, it is what it is and out about the lord don't make no mistake she missing because the lord uh uh uh, uh, uh calls her to be missing so let's, let's let's read that again uh jeremiah chapter 11 i mean so like jeremiah chapter 4 in verse 22 said for many for my people shall like for my people is foolish they have not known me they are sadists children and they have none understanding they are wise to do evil but to do good they have no knowledge the same rebellious house to this day you know constantly scoffing and mock in the house of mirth drinking and being merry, going on with their daily lives you know the busy body of this uh of this world and out about you know, constantly want to grow here constantly want to accomplish something in this fallen kingdom the lord already told you come out of here my people this is not your rest but a lot of people what they, they, they love filing and out about they get ready to die because they what? They're in the congregation of the dead. So now let's go here to um let's get another quick precept. Let's go here to uh Cleastastes. Cleastastes chapter seven. Cleastastes chapter seven and verse let's start at verse um verse two. Cleastastes chapter seven and verse two. And it reads that it is better to go to the house of mourning than to go to the house of feasting for that is the end of all men and the living will lay it to heart or to mind so that everybody you know so if you go into the house of feasting it should would make will be the end of you because that about it's, it's only what wickedness you know you sow in wickedness you shall what reap the same so a lot of people you know they, they'll go out to different parties they might go here to anniversary birthdays whatever they trying to do you know and, and you know thinking that you know hey you know, they're going to come back home, but that is not promised to you. And I, but we all are on a time clock. You know what I'm saying? This temporal world is, you know, is winding up. We're at the end of an eon. But see, but a lot of people, what? They don't read their Bible. You know what I'm saying? They're uh, 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 constantly uh, in all this wickedness, you know, all in these uh, harlot houses uh, and all this uh, 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 wickedness like these concerts, you know what I'm saying? These movies or what, just all sorts of things that lead them straight to to death, you know what I'm saying? And out of it constantly, you know, uh, get rocked back to sleep from the left hand side. Basically what I'm saying, cause they, hey, they love it here. They get ready to die here, just as, as of the days of Noah. Uh, verse uh, three says, sorrow is better than laughter for by sadness of the countenance, the heart is made better. Uh, verse four said, the heart of the wise is in the house of mourning, but the heart of fools are in the house of mirth. So that everybody knows, so she was in the house of mirth. You know what I'm saying? She wanted to what? Hey, you know what I'm saying? Wanted to do rock and roll every day. Have fun. Play games. You know what I'm saying? Hey, that, hey man, that's, that's do all sorts of wicks. See, in that video, you know, her, her friend lied on, said she wasn't even at the riverboat, and they showed her in the picture uh, twerking, showing her little ass when she should have been at home with her mother and father, if she had one. And I, we hoping and praying. One thing about it, we better the time dealing. We also, we know that we're upon judgment. So a lot of people love what? The house of murder. Constantly what? Want to do wickedly. You know what I'm saying? Constantly, you know what I'm saying? Want to be rebellious. Hey, they don't want to hear the words of the Lord. You know, we have piped unto you and you have not danced. And I about it. in that day, they shall know that a prophet was among them. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, we're coming upon some perilous time. You know, so you see these people coming up what? Unalive. You know what I'm saying? Coming up missing. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, a lot of death, a lot of what? Destruction, a lot of persecution. 
It's coming. In the middle of the Lord, we come on you. Left and right. Hey, man, we're almost at the end of our testimony. Famine of the word is coming. You know what I'm saying? And also, the great and glorious return of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, the fast approach. So a lot of people love, love filing. A lot of people love to hide off the mirror, drinking and smoking, barbecuing, laid back, relaxing in their leaves. And out of body, you know what I'm saying, dancing, having a great old time. I'm happy to be here where you are happy to die here. Hey, that's one thing about it. Hey, we constantly want them left and right. So now let's go here to uh, James. Let's go here to James chapter four. And we get one more and we close out. Uh, James chapter four. <clears throat> one moment. James chapter four. And we'll start up at verse, uh, verse 13. James chapter four and verse 13. And it reads, it said, go to now. Ye that say today or tomorrow, uh, we will go into such a city and continue there a year and buy and sell and get gain. You're going on with their daily life, not considered. Verse 14 said, whereas ye know not what shall be on tomorrow for what is your life? It is even a vapor that appears for a little time. And then vanish away. Hey, man, you hear today and go on, and, and go on tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? Just a split second. Uh, verse 5 said, For that ye ought to say, if the Lord's will, we shall live and do this or that. And I, if it's the Lord's will, so, you know, she, hey, I don't know whether she prayed or whatever. You know, if it's the Lord's will, Lord, protect me, Lord, guide me, Lord. You know, that I make it home safely, Lord. I go here, Lord, camp your angels around. But see, but one thing about, hey, our people, you know, they not considered. They don't even know who the hell they are. They don't even know what time that we're living in. And also, they don't even know who their true power is. They still hollering about white man Jesus. And I bet it's only going to lead to your what? Death and destruction. Or what? Coming up missing. You know, hey, we constantly want you. These are the days of vengeance. These are what? What, uh, what the time that we have never seen before. Hey, man, we are right upon judgment. You know what I'm saying? If it's the Lord will, you do this or do that. Always got to be what? Watch it. You always must what? Pray each and every day. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, pray without ceasing. You know what I'm saying? And also, we must have a what? A sober mind because what? We coming upon some perilous time. Jacob's trouble, it is at the door. So now let's go here to our last and final strip. Let's go here to uh, uh, Ephesians chapter 5. And we'll start up at uh, verse, verse, uh, verse 15. Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 15. And it reads, really said, See then that ye uh, walk circumspectly, not uh, as uh, fools, but as wise. And out of body, hey, you got to be what uh, circumspect, you know, when you go in that word uh, circum, you know, it's talk about, you know, like a circle, you know, uh, uh, know your surrounding, you know what I'm saying? 300 and uh, 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 six degree all the way around, you know what I'm saying? And I about, you know, uh, I'll be world of the people that you deal with, you know what I'm saying? You know, the, uh, the signs of the time, you know what I'm saying? You be a world uh, uh, of your surrounding 24 seven. You know what I'm saying? Out of the back because we're living in some evil time. And it's at the door. But a lot of people, what? They, they still think, hey, I'm free. You know what I'm saying? I, I love it here. And you, as you see what happened, you get ready to die. You know what I'm saying? So let's read that again. It says, uh, Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 15. See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. Be wise. You know what I'm saying? Out of the back, the prudent foresees the evil. But you know, but the, but hey, but the, what the simple, what, uh, what they perish, you know, because what they ain't paying, uh, uh, no attention to the what the signs of the time, their environment, the people that they're dealing with. You know what I'm saying? And I bet hey, they they walking like what blind men. Uh, verse 16 said, redeeming the time because the days are evil. You know what I'm saying? Because what life is short. You know, you hear today, you go on tomorrow. And I bet that's watch, pray, and be sober. Because hey, man, you can leave at any given time. And I bet if the Lord sanctions it, you getting ready to leave. Your number come up, it's time to go. And I bet that's it. You shall reap what you sow. And I bet whatever you did in this life. You're going to get ready. You know what I'm saying? You got to go in front of the judgment seat. You're getting ready to pay. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people are going to be in that what? Lake of fire, that sack of death. And this place that they love and so much care about to do all sorts of wickedness. This place is getting ready to be a lake of fire. There will be no inhabitant left here. And out about so one thing about it is that, hey, man, you got to seek the Lord while he can be found. Verse 17 said, said, wherefore, be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. Hey, man, you got to know what the will of the Lord is. You know what I'm saying? But one thing about it is that a lot of our people don't. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, it's time to what? Blow the trumpet. You know what I'm saying? Sign and cry. You know, get your house in order. Get your mind right. Let go of the mortal thoughts. You know what I'm saying? Walk accordingly. Seek the Lord while he can be found. Keep the faith. 
Keep believing. You know, it's an extra law to have mercy upon. Examine yourself. You know, because, hey, man, we're coming upon that time that we have never seen before. And out of the Bible, but a lot of our people are still in the house of mirth, as of the days of old, as of the days of Noah. You know what I'm saying? Drinking and being married. You know what I'm saying? Giving into marriage. You know what I'm saying? Marrying. You know what I'm saying? Doing all sorts of what? Sexual immorality. You know, it's all sorts of abomination, all sorts of things that is what is displeasing to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. The Lord is getting ready to judge this place, but in righteousness. And also, the Lord is getting ready to what? Bring forth the what? The kingdom of heaven that dwells in right. The what? The world without end. And out about, we are hoping and praying that we are part of the what? The whole elect. And out about, the 144 mighty men. And also, what? The women and children, the true believers of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. Hey, man, we cannot wait. And also, the great and glorious return of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh it is fast approaching. Hey, the title of the day lesson once again is Life is Short. So I like to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rikakadash. I like to say Shalom, Shalom.